This is a live video feed of a counter timer tack module sitting on my desk. Check out the other videos to learn how to configure this timer. This video is just a live demo. The signals on this module are connected to a USB board connected to this computer. That I.O. board is controlled by these buttons right here. And the timer output signals are being monitored by these three traces down here. There are two output 1 signals and an output 2 signal. It looks like we have a set point of 3 and since this timer is set up as a repeat cycle timer, we would expect to see an output pulse on these traces right here every 3 seconds. Let's try it. According to this chart for the repeat cycle timer, a rising edge on the start signal here will start the timer to counting. When a timer reaches its set value, in our case 3 seconds, it will reset and start counting again and it will issue a pulse on the outputs. The duration of that pulse is programmable on this example, we have it set at a quarter of a second. So let's hit the start signal and see what happens. We toggle the start, the counter starts counting, and every three seconds, we get a pulse that's a quarter second wide. Let's see, according to the diagram, the pause signal right here will pause the timer. Let's try that. We activate the pause signal, the timer pauses. We release it and the timer resumes. It also looks like the reset signal will clear the timer and that the only thing that will start it back up is a start signal. Let's try that. We'll issue a reset and the timer stops. Hit a start and the timer starts right back up. Suppose we want a longer output pulse. Well, just hold down the mode key for three seconds to 1000, 3, 1000 and that puts us into the configuration mode. We cycle through the various parameters until we find the one that sets the output pulse width, which is this one right here. Let's make it a full second. So I'm going to press the yellow key, which puts a cursor on this. You can't see that on the webcam, but this 5 is blinking rapidly right now. I'm going to change him down to a 0. Move over to the 2. Change him down to a 0. Move over here and bump him up to a one second. We lock it in by pressing the mode key. Then we hold the mode key down for three seconds. And it puts us right back in timer mode with our new extended pulse widths. Check out the video on how to set up the timer for more on configuring those different parameters. There are 12 different timer modes to choose from, so take a look at the manual to see which one best fits your needs. Well, that's all there is to using the timer. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series to get the most out of your counter timer tech. As always, Please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.